He's gonna leave me. This is some bullshit. Bet I'm leaving. Can you tell me where room 110 is? 110? Yeah, yeah it's just right down. Aaron. Are you just fucking serious right now? Aaron. What? what? Aaron, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not what you think. What? Are, did I not just see you kissing some guy? It, it, it's not. Like, it's, it's not what you think. Aaron. I mean, we're not together, but I miss my friend. Like, is that why? Why can't I come see my friend? You have a lot of friends, a lot of boyfriends. That would all right. I'll take that. I'll take that because I did fuck up, and I'm sorry. And I told you I'm sorry. All those phone calls, all those gifts that I sent. I'm sorry, but you're still my friend. I'm here to check up on you because I'm fine. But you're not fine. I'm fine. We came to the hospital to see you. Who is we? You brought one of your boyfriends to the hospital to see me? No, me and Maya. Maya? Yeah. Your mom wouldn't let us in. I'm fine. You don't have to come and see me. You don't have to check on me. I have to call. You don't have to text or anything. I'm fine. Aaron, like, I'm, I'm trying to No, reach out to get you. out. Bye. Aaron. Hey girl, what's up? Oh my gosh, I've been needing to talk to you. I got some shit on my chest. I need to get off. What's up? Girl, I am so sick and tired of Derek's bullshit. <laughs> Kia, you know how I feel about it. If it ain't good, then why stay? Look, you know I love him. Yeah, but does he love you? Yeah, I know he do, but it's that fucking British. Come on, chill all that. I already told y'all, like, y'all both my friends. I'm not picking sass. I'm not. Look. I know, look, I know, but I'm mad as hell right now. Why? Wow, what happened? British showed up to the damn studio today. I thought she had a date today. Yeah, she did. With one of Derek's producers. Are you talking about Aiden? Yeah, how you know? <laughs> I mean, we hung out a few times. They've been talking for a few weeks now. Wow, that's just great. I don't think it was intentional or anything. Besides, he approached her. That's besides the point. Like, now she'll be seeing my man. I don't see what's the emergency here. Oh my gosh, like, you know how it is. Like, okay, once you see your ex, I don't know, like, old fella start flying back and shit. He's always gonna, he's always gonna still care about her. They've been together for years, but that doesn't mean he's gonna switch up on you like that, you know? How would you know? I don't, but if another woman comes along and messes up my relationship, then it wasn't my relationship to begin with. And if that's the case, I suggest you just leave it alone. Whose side are you on, Tam? What? Like, let me turn the lights off before we start. I mean, I know it's cold out here, but there's no reason not to have a good time. Yeah, that's true. So what's it like running your own business? Well, it's not hard. Yeah, I really wish that's something I could pull off. Yeah, I know what that's like. Really? Yeah, I mean, I knew before I wanted to start my own business for myself. That's what I had to do. That's a huge step, though. It is, but I mean, I get to do what I want, how I want. Sounds controlling to me. No, not at all. I mean, I go by and check on things, but you know, I'm pretty hands off more than you might expect. Hmm. That actually sounds pretty interesting. Why did your last relationship end? That was really random. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to figure you out. 
Well, he had a secret and he had a daughter and a relationship that actually turned out not to be his daughter or his relationship. I don't know. It was it was crazy. Then he went back to New York and he just left what we had in the dust. What? He what? Yeah. <laughs> it's super complicated. Yeah, he sounds like a piece of work. Why did you say that? Because I couldn't imagine leaving somebody like you behind. That's really sweet, but I guess it's just like... What about the guy before him? No, 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 no. It's your turn. What happened with you and your ex? Uh, nothing. I mean, we was together for a while, and we wasn't. Sound like there's a bigger story there. Uh, there's always two sides to a story. It depends on who's explaining it. Yeah, your side, her side, and eventually the truth comes out. So, uh, speak now and forever hold your peace. Well, I plead the fifth. Smart man. I watch way too much Law and Order to fall for that. <laughs> Yeah. What? Okay, what? Well, Alright, I gotta go. Yeah, it's getting kind of late. Yeah, it looks like I should be getting going. Okay. <sighs> I just really didn't know that movie was gonna be so long. Yeah, I know. Next time you pick, that movie was long as hell. It's alright, I really didn't mind. That's nice. So when is part two? I didn't know there was going to be a part two. Well, there is now. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to hit you tomorrow. All right. See ya. All right, see you later. Okay, kid, like, you tripping right now. You need to calm down. No, you're supposed to be my friend. What'd you say? Look, whatever. Nah, fuck that. You want to talk about real friends? <sighs> Who was there for you when Derek left you for the first time? Who was always stopping your drunk ass from damn near killing yourself because you don't know how to handle life? <sighs> I'm the only best friend you got. If you can't handle that, don't fucking call me. Don't, girl. Are you serious, Tana? I'm damn serious. Hey, Kimmy. Where have you been? I'm sorry? I've been looking for you since last night. I've called around and nobody's seen you. Where have you been? Have you taken your pills? What's up? Okay, you seriously need to calm down. First of all, my phone died. I had left my charger here. And then I came home, it was like 12 or something. You were already asleep. I had my interview this morning, so I don't know why you're tripping on me. I'm not. I'm just trying to make sure you keep it together. Keep it together? You know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. Keep it together like how, Kim? I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. That's all. What do you want me to do, Kim? You want me to lock myself up in my room? You want to download GPS on my phone so you know I'm at at all no, times? I didn't. No, I don't want to talk about it. I'll be in my room if you're looking for me. If you want to go check my post, make sure you're not going to fucking do it first. Great. That's just great, Erin. So, you know, me and Derek stopped talking. What do I do, though? I'm gonna probably start talking to the right person. I might talk to you this. That's really all you got? I mean, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Like, I just want some advice. Oh, yeah, advice. Here's some. Either you stay or you leave, kid. Simple. That's really all you got? You of all people know I'm not the person to go to about relationship advice. True, but you know from a male's perspective, what's... What the hell should I do? You want truth. That's what you want. You want the truth? Yes. Okay. Here it is. You do know if you don't get your shit together, you ain't got to worry about losing him to somebody else. You're going to push him away all by your damn self. Yeah, that's just messy. No, it's the truth. Whatever. Just take me home. <laughs> oh, so guess, nah, I guess you mad at me. No. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Look at you. Yes, you are. So I guess I'm not supposed to ask you, yo, kid, you still coming out to the bar tonight? It depends. You been drinking? What? Go on now, cut the bullshit out. Go I just on. asked I a simple question. For what? Answer the question. Here you go, it never fucking fails. You always go projecting your bullshit on me, why? What is that supposed to mean? It means every fucking time you don't get your way, Kia, you always gotta come find me, antagonize me, and attack me. Shit, cut it out, I'm tired of it. Oh my God, I can't. no, no. I can't. No. I, look, I refuse for my brother to fall back into his old dumbass habits. Old habits? Nigga, you the one still over there fooling with that old dirty, dusty ass nigga? Look. When it's been over fucking years. 
we are not gonna focus on that. Not on that. That is what we're focusing on. No, we're not. Yes, it is. That's the whole conversation. So you sit here telling me this whole conversation, this whole argument been about me? Really? No. Whatever. Hell no. Okay, yeah. No fucking problem. No fucking problem. Don't worry about it, kid. What's wrong with your boyfriend dumped you again? No, okay? Then what is it this time? What's wrong? Kia, what's wrong? Mama and daddy got into an accident. Oh shit, for real? No. Oh, damn, that's fucked up. What hospital are they at? Look, mama and daddy is not in no hospital. Well, where they at? What do you mean? Look, well, come on, I'll take you to them. You, you know, I, I ain't on that funny shit, you know, but I'm gonna take you to them, kid. What's wrong? Where we going? Look, mama and daddy gone. Kid. They didn't make it to no hospital, Carter. Okay, but wherever I gotta take you, I'll take you to go see them. Damn. Mama and daddy is gone, Carter. What? What are you, kid? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. I got a pretty lady up at What do you want me to do, Kim? You want me to lock myself up in my room? You want to download GPS so you know I'm at all times? I think. What? You want to make you up? I'm not picking size. I'm not. Oh my gosh, like. What the fuck is in there? Damn! I'm trying to move time forward. Waiting for my encore, encore. You don't know what a nigga been through, huh? That's it. What is the shit, fuck? What about it? You niggas think you got it? Okay, that was horrible. I'm trying to You ain't gotta worry about losing to somebody else. You gonna lose it on your damn self. Like you know I love him, man. Yeah, but that. Damn it. I told you. He hit you with you beautiful kitty cat. Okay, so look at him for a second. Be like, you know you beautiful.